How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and today we have something very special to show off to you. And it kind of has something to do with this computer and you may be wondering, well, what do you need a computer for, Chris? Well, I'm glad you asked, random bystander. That would be this new Lulzbot Mini 2. This is the newest iteration of Lulzbot's Mini line and it has been given quite a bit of a makeover. The Lulzbot Mini 2 is a high performance desktop 3D printer that will allow you to make everything. And it does have a few features that are new about it, so let's take a look. So first off, the Lulzbot Mini 2 does have a 20% larger build volume area, increasing from 223 inches cubed to be about 281.4 inches cubed. The Z-axis is now completely belt driven, so you won't have to worry about it dropping or anything else getting damaged again. That way it provides you with better print quality and faster cycle times as well. There's now a GLCD controller box on the front of the printer, allowing you for tetherless printing. This 3D printer is now equipped with Lulzbot's Air Extruder Filament Extruder, so that way you're able to print in both rigid and flexible filaments out of the box. So that way you don't have to worry about changing the extruder to do two different types of filament. The last new feature about the Lulzbot Mini 2 is that it is whisper quiet. I'm not kidding, it is dead silent. And you'll be able to find that out here in just a minute or two when we do a test print. Overall, all of these new features do add a little bit to the end retail price, but in our opinion, it is still a very high-end 3D printer that is definitely worth it if you need a small 3D printer for your home personal use or for a school in an educational setting. Inside each Lulzbot Mini 2, you will find, of course, the Lulzbot Mini 2 3D printer, a 6-foot 18 AWG power cord cable for the United States, a USB cable, an SD card with source files found on it, a sample coil of PLA 3D printer filament, an octopus printed specifically by the 3D printer that you own, as well as any documentation that is required to get you set up and going. And probably one of the coolest things that the Lulzbot Mini 2 includes is this really full-fledged tool bag kit, which includes pliers, hex keys, an X-Acto knife, Elmer's glue, cleaning supplies, and extra tools that you may need to get a print off of the bed. A little while back, I wrote a blog post for the Sparkman homepage explaining and showing you how you can print your own 3D dungeon tiles for a D&D group or any other miniatures tabletop game. So I figured what better way to test the Lulzbot Mini 2 than to start on the next chapter of that blog post. So today we're going to print out a little dungeon tile and give you a little sneak peek of a future post that's coming out in the next couple of weeks. And we're back. We went ahead and let this print overnight, and I have to admit, I'm really happy with the results of it. It even took us way less time than we were expecting, so we printed out a few other things that will feature in a future video along with the finished product of this. Now, we here at SparkFun love the Lulzbot 3D printing line, and it's not just because of their open source mentality, and that's great, but the biggest thing that we want you to realize in this video is that this is not an assembly guide. We literally took this out of the box, plugged it in, and started printing. And that is an invaluable trait for anyone who is an educator, a teacher, or someone who's just getting started into 3D printing and is curious about it. So if you are one of those people or just someone who is interested, we highly recommend the Lulzbot Mini 2. Brand new, just came out today, no. Dated it. Yep. Dated it. The open source. You just want to make sure that was going well. So includes something else that I'm screwing up as well. And we're back. 